there is very little separating the old parties anymore. Friendly to big business, backing in more coal and gas, torturing asylum seekers, cutting taxes for the rich. Members of this government are very adept at putting on their serious faces and talking about how people are doing it tough. People aren't doing it tough. They're working two or three jobs just to keep from falling behind. They're dipping deeper into their pockets to pay for so-called public services like public schools and healthcare. They're sacrificing meals so that they can buy their kids clothes. And they're worried that their rent is going to go up $100 next month and they won't have a place to live. And here we have Labor trumpeting its fiscal rectitude while throwing wads of cash at millionaires. Less than half of 1 per cent of the total value of these cuts will go to the poorest 20 per cent of Australians, while the wealthiest 20 per cent will bank half of the total value. Ultimately, we'll all pay from this wasteful extravagance. Starving the budget of $318 billion over a decade means the government will have less money to fund the public services that are needed now more than ever. Meanwhile, the people suffering the most during this cost of living crisis get nothing. If you're on income support or you earn less than $18,000, sorry, you're on your own. Labor can afford to give politicians and CEOs a $4,500 annual bonus, but you'll still have to try your luck at the food bank. So next time Labor complains that they just don't have enough money to do the things they really want to do, remember this moment. Remember that they chose to give billions to the rich while services languished, Australians suffered and the inequality gap widened.